Hey guys, this is Mrs. Audi in Chicago, and I am here in Sacramento at the state capitol. Let's see what's going on. We have a couple of police officers here. Let's see what else is going on. Tell me a little bit about why you're here. Oh, and what is SP a little bit about the SP 625? SP is a gut and amend bill. It was um, pulled out of the inactive file. It what used to be a bill on something about marijuana, and um, they took out the old wording and put in new wording. And that new wording has to do with the Central Basin Water Board down in Southeast LA, which is a very uh, high. Latino district, very impoverished district. Not everybody's highly uh, knowledgeable about right. their water board. Right, but uh, we happen to know one of the women. There's two women and one man. There's a five board member, and three of them have forwarded us to this bill, uh -huh. which would take away, uh, put distance, would, I'm sorry, um, put into receivership that board. And then it would cancel the 2020 election, and there would be no more public board or public elected board. Okay. And then that, all the water that they manage would be put in, um, to another board called the WRD, which is a water board, but it's a water replenishment district that doesn't know how to manage that kind of uh, water. Okay. And then they're going to make a commission to study who should uh, govern that water. And number A on who they should look at are water retailers who sell water. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if people who sell water are managing our public water and distributing it, what are they going to do? Right, right. Lower the water, lower the quality. There'll be no 
no more public opportunity for public input at all. And the thing is, is has it gotten a manned bill? If there's something wrong with the elected board, let us know. Right. There's going to be another election. We can elect better people if need be. You don't have to disband and take away our democracy. And with the gun amend bill, there's no opportunity for public input. Because that was done in 2019 with the marijuana portion. Now they're just running it through the assembly. So from March 26 until now, we've, so far I think we've blocked them from putting it through. It's gone through three readings and two committees. Oh, nice. Okay, so we think we're having an effort. We've been down in Southeast LA talking to them. alerting more and more people and people are calling and responding and saying stop this bill. Now is there anything that my viewers could do to help yes, with you guys? Yes, they could call their local, local assembly person and tell them no on SB 625. No that, on SB yep. 625. Uh -huh. And the bill that they've written, and I've never seen such a bill in my life before. We want to go, it's like a novella. Okay. Uh, it's it's uh, based on unfounded facts and old, old information. The new board is doing well. They are financially solvent. They've got their general manager. They're honoring their contracts. Everything is okay. We see it as a money grab. Right. Or a water grab, I should right. say, which is money. Okay. <laughs> right. Money. Water is money. So, okay. Water is money. Thank you. Great. No, thank you so much. And thank you for what you're doing for everyone. Thank you so much for talking to me. Oh, no problem. And they're essentially uh, auctioning it off. They're trying to auction it off. Uh, to well, whoever will buy it, to a corporation. They essentially want a corporation. Their legislation, this SB 625 that we're fighting, would uh, leave, open the door for a private corporation to come in and handle our central basin municipal water district. So of course we know that when, you know, when corporations, like a water corporation takes over, you know, the health of the water could uh, diminish, the rates could go up. So we don't want privatization of something that's so important to the public good like water. So, and this has been going on for a long time, um, you know, we try to go to their offices, we email them, they never respond. We think that it's, it's they're rushing it through because they themselves are in trouble because of other reasons. <laughs> right. So we, um, there's been a lot of corruption, um, certainly on the side of Cristina Garcia and Anthony Rendon as well. Um, so we actually think that they're, they're, be, they're being investigated in various ways. So we see this as they, they essentially want, especially Cristina Garcia, mm -hmm. wants a job with the private water companies as a lobbyist. This is kind of her last ditch attempt. It's crazy that she's doing this. The entire community knows about it. And we, of course we don't support it, uh, but since she doesn't care, so, so yeah, it's, water is life. So oh, is of course. Train. And thank you. So, thank, thank you for so everything much. you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think they're talking about it right now. Yeah, they just said, you know, they're reconvening, I think, on the 8th. No! On SB 625! No! On SB 625! No! On SB 625! No! On SB 625! No! On SB 625!
the fake news. Let's see what they're going to say. Let's see what they say, guys. Let's see, guys. Let's see what they have to say. Let's see what she has to say, guys. See, guys, we don't have this camera equipment. Those thousands and thousand dollars worth of cameras. But we are media. Of course. Once again, you guys, you already know this is already pre-written pre, uh, and everything. So... The hella of that. As always, guys, you know, she's rehearsing. They're like actors, guys. They read off the script, they memorize it. You know. There's another reporter right there. So she says the main budget just passed the California Senate. As recently as half hour ago, the Senate was still in session debating everything. Hey guys, that could be a news, a news reporter, I guess. Anybody could read off a phone, right, guys? Some suits coming out, guys. Some suits are coming out over there on that side. There goes this guy. There goes a girl. That's a girl. Wait, Ryan, what a difference a half hour could make here at the Capitol just within the last half hour or so. The main budget was passed by the Senate, so the California legislature has met its constitution. This is KCRA Channel 3, guys. As recently as within the last half hour or so, discussion was happening on the Senate floor. A lot of talk about that $54 billion deficit this state is facing right now. We have some video inside the assembly from earlier today. A lot of discussion in both houses about coronavirus, news, reception, and the need for responsible spending. Interestingly, Republicans in both houses were saying that Democrats party in both houses uh, were not supporting small business owners and Republicans were saying they are the ones who are supporting small business owners who are suffering right now. Well, we heard from the other side of the aisle, we heard from Assemblyman Philip King on the floor of the Assembly this afternoon who says this is the right bill for right now. Okay, guys, so pretty much if it's not one thing, it's another. It's like everybody has to come out here and protest about something because obviously 
what do I usually say? Don't trust the government. I don't know if you guys heard that guys when I was uh, talking to the lady um, they were doing um, where they want to control uh, the water supply they want to um, they're getting people they're actually hiring people to control the water supply that are not qualified to control the water supply the water resource um, so it's all bad guys it's all bad guys And you guys, we all know that um, as long as he's on the sidewalk, he could be in front of anybody's house. He didn't commit a crime. That wasn't a crime, guys. So her her uncomfortableness does not matter. We all know, guys. We all know, guys, that as long as he was on the sidewalk, guys, that is not um, against the law. As long as it's on the sidewalk, guys, this is not against the law. You know that. She obviously doesn't know. But do you see my name on that bill? Senator, we have a no vote from you. Is that correct, Senator? Senator, we have We have a no vote from you. We have a no vote. Is that correct? We have a no vote. So this is a senator. I didn't know this was a senator. One, two, eight, six, eight, six, I didn't know that was a senator. Oh, you know. <laughs> I was like, I was like, hey, she's parking there. No red zone. <laughs> Did she really? Yep. Oh wow. You go to hell. <laughs> I was like, Did she really? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wait, what would you tell her? If COVID 19 was real or fake. Oh. Okay. Well, guys, I guess she told, she's a senator and she told someone to go to hell. She told this guy to go to hell because I guess he was by her house. But as everybody knows, guys, if you're on the public sidewalk, that is not against the law to be on the public sidewalk in front of a house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the thing is, they, uh, they don't understand that being on the sidewalk is not a crime. Exactly. Politicians are always going to have a critique about I shouldn't have been bothered in this I'm just way. I'm saying you can apologize for that for making her feel like that. Huh. That won't happen again later. Uh, her feelings are not well, his concern. 
Well, she's corporate as hell, so when she supports charter schools and she supports taking money away from our public schools, I'm not going to promise I'm not going to protest in front of her house. I think because she's single and it's late at night. See, that's... Yeah. Well, I, can, I care about 2.4 million Angelinos not losing control of $100 million of clean public water and having to drink carcinogenic filthy down my concern. I know not I'm one extremely care. wealthy individual being promoted for about 15 minutes. Right I know, but she's saying it's a single I, I heard her. Right. Right. And you guys, everybody knows that um, that hurt feelings is not hurt feelings is not a crime, guys. Uh, we're not actually part of any of this, but you know we're here to report, not support. So we don't know exactly what's going on uh, with the situation that she was at his house. But like as like I said, as everybody know, guys, everybody knows that uh, being on a public sidewalk by residential homes are not. Or is not against the law. Everybody knows being on the sidewalk is not against the law. to testify 
Another one's meeting over there, guys. So one passes one off, and the other one picks her up there. Walks her to her car. Okay, guys. So I suggest you guys look up uh, Bill SB six two five. Look that up. It uh, affects California. It affects um, here in Sacramento, San Francisco. Uh, Los Angeles. This, uh, you guys, if you guys haven't heard of uh, Bill SB 625, uh, look it up. It has to do with water, our water source, who's providing the water, who is in charge of the water, who is um, the distributing of the water for sale. So, um, you guys look that up. It's SB 625. Viewers, I do. Yeah, you know, we're here. 
Sarah, we're from Los Angeles. Uh -huh. My name is Leticia Garcia, and uh, we're so really concerned about this bill, SB 625, which essentially is going to disenfranchise over 2.4 million people so mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, essentially move towards the privatization of our public water system. So we don't want privatization of our water because water is a basic um, necessity of life. You know, it's not like having a car or right. like, you know, you, we need every morning that we get up, we have to have water to live. We need water to grow our food. And we're concerned that the privatization efforts that are happening in LA County and throughout the state of California are only going to price us out of, you know, water. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, our utilities are already high enough. Right. And they continue to go to increase. And our families just cannot con continue to afford it to happen. Right. And so we're here um, to try to stop this bill and uh, and to stop the people from our community from being disenfranchised. Is there now? Is there anything our viewers could do to help out, or if they if they want to help out, if they if there's a bill or something that they have to sign, sure. you have to get a hold can, of somebody. If you can call your member of the legislature, because okay. even though we're from LA, uh -huh. every member of the legislature, both in the assembly and the senate is going to vote on this bill. Okay. And so uh, so you can call your state senator or your state assembly member and, and tell them to vote no on Senate Bill uh, 625. That would be really helpful. Okay, perfect. Yeah. You hear that, guys? Yeah. You hear that, guys? Call yeah. your Call them up. Uh, no problem. Thank you for talking for us. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, this is really important, you know. Um, what really is that they're not letting us into the Capitol. You know, we be here all day. This is the second time that uh, we come up here from where we live in LA. We take uh, the drove this time. Okay. We, uh, you know, we pay for right. the drive and all of that so that we can kind of give input before the legislature and then we can see. But they're allowing the corporate lobbyists to go. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, like that's unacceptable. Yeah, it is. Like, that are refusing to even take the flyers so that they can give to their members. Right. Like, how they get paid because of our tax dollars. Correct. We already know that corporations don't pay taxes. Right. Who pay taxes? It's the people. So our 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 taxes are paying for all of their salaries. Right. And they're so you know they're so arrogant and they won't even give us a reason why we can't go in. Yeah. You know this whole COVID um, emergency right. that has happened. Um, has been, uh, in my in my opinion, should be an eye opener for many of us, because there's no reason why our state capital should be shut down to the public, while we have corporate lobbyists that are being allowed to go in and continue to cut deals on the backs of the working people of the state. Yeah, I totally that's agree. just not acceptable. You know, we have our elected officials from Los Angeles mainly that are authoring this bill that have taken hundreds of thousands of dollars from the private water interests um, that uh, that has been reported in their financial statements that they have to submit to the state. You know, that in my opinion, that is, that's really bribery, you know, it's oh, yeah. legalized bribery that these politicians are allowed to take so much money from these interest groups that then, then they turn around and they carry bills to benefit them. You know, that needs to stop. Yeah. So we're here specifically to oppose Senate Bill 625, but we're also concerned citizens of California because we're just fed up with the corruption that we have in our government. Oh yeah, I agree. So, um, so... No on, on 625. No on you know, SB please, uh, 625, guys. And your state senator and ask them to, to vote no on 625. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You hear that, guys. Go ahead and tell them. Vote no on 625, guys. You're in control. You're in control. Call your assemblyman. And your senator. Call your senator. Everybody, LA, here in Sacramento, everywhere, guys. Just call no on 625, guys. This is involving to do with the water. Uh, it concerns everybody. This this involves everyone, guys. Everyone drinks water every day. Think about it. Think about right now when you guys are watching this, how many bottles of water do you have in front of you? How many bottles of water have you drank today? It's going to affect the sale of water also. They're trying to control who can sell the water, who cannot sell the water. They're trying to... Um, to give the control to somebody that has no, how can I say, no, um, 
no knowledge of how to do this, how to how to control this masses of water. That's the problem. That's the issue, guys. So remember, call. This affects LA too, guys. So my LA people, call your assemblyman. Say no on SB six two five, guys. We cannot keep shut. It's we the people, guys. We have the power. Don't let them make you think that we don't have the power. We have the power. We are the voices. We own these buildings. We own these people. They work for us. They work for us, guys. Remember. Remember, guys. Let's see, guys. Okay, guys. Let's see. It's okay. That's fine. Okay, so here it is, guys. That was a better one? Oh, perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let me show you this thing here, guys. You can have it. Oh, thank you. So this is a Senate bill, guys. 625. So, here you go. Somebody call the police on you guys. Huh? Somebody call the police on you guys. Okay, you guys. They just mm -hmm. love us. What about this? They can't see us. We got cops right now. Okay, guys. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that's what it is. You guys look it up. Uh, look it online. It's Senate Bill 625. The David Color Cops, guys, on these people. He is located right there, guys. This is a freedom to assembly. They are not doing anything wrong. This is freedom to assembly. This is a, a constitutional activity, protective activity, guys. So they did call the police right there, guys. Those guys, I'm just kind of giving having uh, AC's back. He's gonna go walk over there, so they probably caught the cops on him. And they're just gonna um, have his back and just kind of keep a filming, just make sure he's okay. Why did he leave? <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> So you, so you know, um, they don't like to be on camera, guys. You know they don't like to be on camera, guys. So. It was item number eighty-one. <laughs> Let's see, guys.
Peace out, guys. <laughs> there was a highway patrol down there that chased them off. Yeah, the highway patrol was right over there, guys. You saw it. And then you see chased them off like always. He went back around. <laughs> He'll run away again. Watch. He'll run away again. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> no, he asked them, how, how are you doing? They, they don't like to be on camera, so. No! On SB6! No! On SB6! No! On SB6! No! Okay guys, this is Mrs. Out in Chicago, over and out, love you lots.